Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Hyper Frontiers video. We got some big news to drop, but first I just want to thank you guys for clicking on this video, and let's get into it and break the news. Okay, so a few days ago, the LEGO and Sonic the Hedgehog YouTube channels officially released the announcement trailer for the Sonic the Hedgehog Wave 1 sets, or line of sets, I should say. This is very exciting because it's adding much more to the LEGO Sonic kind of genre or uh, universe if you like to put it that way. But uh, this is very exciting, but this is not Sonic's first time appearing in LEGO obviously as you probably already knew. His first and maybe lesser known appearance or at least less recent appearance was in the LEGO Dimensions Sonic the Hedgehog level pack which was about 2015 2016 area now of course if you're younger and you weren't around when that was a thing then you might know his second lego appearance better as the sonic the hedgehog lego idea set green hill zone and one thing that was interesting about the set was the fact that it had two attachment points for other sets like it but we never got another set to attach it to Unless, of course, you consider the set itself in another set to attach it to. And this is a great way, I think, to expand up upon the uh, sets. And without further ado, let's get into them. So the first set of the line is going to be the set which is priced at $34.99 US dollars. Obviously, this is fairly expensive for a starting set. It's not like the new Guardians of the Galaxy sets, which the cheapest one is starting at $10, and the most expensive set, I believe, going up to 100 but that's quite a big jump as it is. This one isn't too bad, um, but, you know, it's, it's still quite a big investment just for getting what you get, but you do get some really cool stuff. You get Sonic, you get his speed sphere. I can't tell you how hard that is to say. It's very difficult. I bet you can't say it three times fast. <laughs> Leave a like if you manage to pull it off. <laughs> but in any matter, uh, you get these really cool ramp pieces for the speed sphere to roll on and obviously the device which looks very interesting but also has a spring uh, place where you smash your hand down and it looks super super cool. While obviously being the cheapest set, this one actually looks really cool and also one of the only two that come with the speed sphere, speed, see, the speed sphere element. And I can't wait to pick this one up because it is the cheapest set and obviously cheaper is better in most cases, but you know, you get what you pay for. But for this one, it really doesn't feel like that because it's the cheapest set in a line and we're getting this really cool stuff. Next set. So the next set we have here, $5 more, I might add, than the first set is the Tails Workshop and Tornado Plane set coming in at 40 US dollars and this set looks super cool it comes with a very fancy winking sonic which I think is super cool you got tails obviously in his plane and you have the brick built buzz bomber but you can't say that four times fast and uh, of course the workshop and some extra little rings along with the plane itself I really do enjoy the attention to detail on the plane uh, with the little sticker in the back that's also on the workshop how Sonic can sit on top of the, or stand on top of the wings just like he can in the video game, which I think is super cool and the nice attention to detail. And just the, how uh, simple it is, the workshop is, and how they put the emphasis on the plane, so that way this one could still remain very affordable. This one I know is going to be one of Alice's favorites because that was one of the things he really wanted when the LEGO Ideas set came out when we first discovered it in the stores. He's like, now I want a Tails plane. Either way, this is a super cool set, and I do like how LEGO did it where you can get the unique thing about the, the other set for the cheapest amount, but you can also get the regular kind of sets that we've seen before for also a cheap price, because there's two more expensive ones that's been announced, and there's two cheaper ones, like the first set, it has the speed sphere, and uh, it g introduces that dynamic without having to spend a hundred dollars and you also can have just regular kind of sonic set 
similar to things like Lego City that we've seen before, right? But you don't have to spend $50 as we'll get to in a minute. What I do think find really interesting about the set is how they kind of went with a the, the Guardians of the Galaxy set that I showed earlier kind of workshop feel. But I think it's really nice in how they put the emphasis on the plane because otherwise the plane would not look nearly as good. And I feel like that was important for this set. Anyways, without further ado, let's move on to the next one. So the third set of this line of LEGO Sonic the Hedgehog sets is going to be priced at 49 99 United States dollars we have the Amy's Animal Rescue Island which looks pretty cool and reminds me of Lego friends it gives me that kind of vibe with the, all the pastel colors and uh, all the cool little things the slide and everything but without further ado let's take a look at the characters it seems we get Amy which is super cool uh, another new character in the line we have Tails, which is cool that he makes his appearance in not just his one set. And Crab Meat, the brick built Crab Meat, along with three micro figures. I haven't really gone over the micro figures because, I mean, I'm personally not too interested in them, but you could, they, this one I'll go over, um, it comes with a little pig, a bird, and a rabbit. I, but anyways, um, this set it looks pretty cool. It seems Tails has a little bit of a hoverboard kind of thing kind of like a Marty McFly kind of hoverboard which is super cool it has quite a few play features compared to some of the other sets it looks like it has a rotating door a little thing that pops up whenever you hit it, so the crab meat goes flying or something like that a little slide for the animals to go down and also a retractable drawbridge which I actually think is pretty cool it has a nice tree, which another thing about the Sonic the Hedgehog sets is really cool. The tree designs are totally different, and I really do enjoy it. You have a flower growing in the grass, which or the dirt, I should say, which is kind of odd because it's that dirt's on the sand. So I guess that doesn't matter any. I don't know very much about plants. And of course, we have a sand castle and a nice little water bar to get something to drink because it looks hot out there today. And uh, that's basically it. I mean, this set's pretty cool. I'm thinking this is going to be targeted more towards a uh, younger audience or potentially like uh, more for girls kind of set. Because I personally, I think this set's cool, but I don't know if I would take this over like the $100 set or even like the, the lowest price one. I think this one is not as cool, but I still think it is still pretty cool. Anyways, without further ado, let's move on to the next set. So the last set in the announced so far Sonic the Hedgehog Lego theme, we have the set priced at $100, which is Sonic's Green Hill Zone Loop Challenge. And boy, this one looks amazing. It being the $100 set, they really did go all out for this. And I feel like this is completely fair as far as Lego standpoint of a price for this because it is super cool. You get a cool loop-de-loop, -loop, which we've, which I personally tried to make in Lego, and it has not gone successfully. So now I don't have to. <laughs> you get the speed sphere element, which I finally said it right. Yay. A nice ring for just jump through. You get Amy in this set, Sonic himself. And I believe that's the regular version of Sonic 2, which is really neat. You get uh, brick-built shopper and the green chameleon dude, Neutron. I believe is what he's called and uh, four more micro figures along with this is maybe the best part of the entire set the dr. Eggman minifigure which is just a jumble of all the leftover minifigure bins it's got he's got avatar legs from the avat I should say from the avatar theme Lego figure legs he has a like weird sandwich plate kind of like Chewbacca has where it just goes over his torso that's what it looks like with Eggman and the arms are also I believe a unique mold and his head it's too realistic <laughs> I don't know it's like amazing but at the same time it's just it's just kind of a why it's just kind of a wonder like why could they not make him a big fake I enjoy it though a ton like don't get me wrong 
Along with this though, we get a whole course for the Speed Sphere to roll across, a ton of like customizability with all of it. The robot, which looks super cool, is also detachable and of course can hold Eggman in it, which is something super cool. You have a bunch of other cool details in the set that I can't go over because of, you know, time sake. But that's for when you guys come in where you can buy the set get this up for yourself and check out all the cool little details in the set available now for pre-order at like on the lego shop anyways that's gonna wrap it up for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already and you enjoyed this content please consider giving it a like and subscribe be sure to comment down below which sets your favorite and what can which one you'll be looking to get when they come out or you're gonna or which one you're gonna pre-order also, if you haven't already, please consider clicking the bell to be notified whenever our next video comes out because it's going to be awesome. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Keep the hype on and we're out.